You gotta have confidence. You gotta believe in yourself. When you get ready to hire people, most of you are going to go out and find some very, very highly qualified people. And as a leader, do you know what to do with those highly qualified people? If you hire highly qualified people who can really do a good job, what do you need to do? Get out of their way. If they're highly qualified, give them their assignment and then step back. Let them go. Let them do their job. That's why we hired them. That's why we're giving them a good salary. They're supposed to be the best at what they do. If they're the best and you're interfering, what's going to happen? Step back. Let those people go. Let them do what you're paying them to do. Okay? Don't interfere with them. As a leader, if you don't like yourself, it's going to be a problem. Because I'll continue the story. You go in the kitchen, you eat your breakfast, you either go in your car or public transportation to work, and then you show up. When you walk through that door, if you did not like yourself in the morning, the workers are going to know that. They're going to read your confidence before you open your mouth. You have seen your bosses, right? You can tell when your boss is having a bad day when they walk in the door, right? Where's their confidence? They don't have it or they left it behind. Not good. They got to change that. You got to have confidence. You've got to believe in yourself. We have to be willing to try something. If you're not willing to try something and get out of your normal habit, nothing's going to change. There's an old English saying that we use frequently in America. If you always do what you've always done, you're going to always get what you always got. You have to do something different. Be willing to change a little bit. Take that extra step. Speak up when you want to. Not when you're shy, afraid to, but speak up when you want to. You've got to do something different. If you do something different, you'll be surprised with the results. Today, we fly higher than birds fly. Right? Yeah, we do. They don't fly as high as we do. What is possible tomorrow? What is possible tomorrow? There's a question I like to ask in my, in my classes on leadership because a lot of leaders get stuck in their position. The question I ask them is, what can we not do today, but if we could, it would increase our competition, our competitive position. Excuse me. It would increase our competitive position if we did it. What can we not do today? But if we could, it would make a huge change in the company. What if we asked that question about you? All of you as individual leaders. What can you not do today? But if you could, it'd make you more successful. Maybe it's learn another language. Maybe it's learn a different skill. Maybe it's take a different approach when you hold meetings. What are you not doing now that you could do? That's what we have to think about. And when we think about that, we need to understand that almost anything is possible. Too often we think somebody tells us, Michael, that's impossible. We can't do it. Wrong. You can. It might be hard to do. It might take a long time. It might be expensive. But you can do it. You just got to believe in yourself. So now I go to your office and I sit in your chair and I pull out your bottom drawer What's in your bottom drawer? Things you need or things you don't need? You told the worker he couldn't have anything extra, but you got extra in your desk. Hmm. You tell people they have to be on time, start a process and get it done in 17 minutes because that's the cycle time. That's what we need. And you call a meeting and when you have people come into your meeting, you run 20 minutes over. How can you run 20 minutes over when the worker can't run over? The worker has to be in his cycle time. He has to please his customers. What about you as a leader? Do you please your customers? You need to be practicing the same lean skills, the same improvement skills that you're asking the workers to do. Don't ask them to do something that you're not willing to do. Make sure that you do it also. Listening. Are you a good listener? Do you listen to your people? 
And people say, oh, yeah, Mike, I listen to them all the time. They talk to me, I get, I get the information. But I'm not sure you know how to listen. So I'm going to give you four very, very, very simple steps to make you a better listener. And if you practice them, your workers will want you to go talk to them. They won't run away when you come toward them. They will seek you out to give you answers if you practice these four skills. And when you start to listen to your people, it's very important that you realize they are not robots. They don't just spit out information on a regular basis. They're not robots. Sometimes they have to think. Sometimes their answers might shock you. Sometimes their answers may be different than what you expected. That's because they are human. They are not robots. Don't go to the shop floor as a supervisor and ask questions and expect to know what the answers are going to be. If you knew the answers, why did you go ask? You don't know what the answers are going to be. You don't know what the worker is going to respond because he's a human, not a robot. It is your attitude that determines your altitude. Just think about it. If you go back to work and anything you've learned in this conference the last three or four days or today, you go back and you try to implement it with a negative attitude, who's going to want to help you? Who's going to want to be on your team? Who's going to want to support your idea? If you got a negative attitude. But if you go back to work with a positive attitude, saying we can do this, we will do this, we will make it happen, we will be successful. If you've got a positive attitude, people will want to be on your team. People will want to help you. People will want to support you with a positive attitude. And if you're looking at promotion, how many of you want to promote somebody that works for you and has a negative attitude? Nobody. You want to get promoted? Think about a positive attitude. It's going to help. So many of the things you hear today, they will work with a positive attitude. With a negative attitude, they will not. It is up to you to decide on what kind of attitude you have.